What is up mga kapotpot? Mr. Kalakal here. And welcome to another vlog. Alright guys, so Saturday afternoon and since I'm bored here because of the uh, community quarantine dito sa Pasig or Tigas I'd like to show you uh, the different uh, wheels that I have here in my slot, in my garage or parking slot. And uh, share ko sa inyo ano yung mga upgrades niya, ano yung mga bikes, ano yung specs, etc, etc. And I do hope uh, yung mga questions niyo sa mga page or sa, sa mga videos natin ay masagot. So, I cannot answer it isa-isa dahil medyo tambak pa tayo ng mga ginagawa. But for the meantime, let me just show you uh, what I have here for my bikes, okay? So first off, yeah. This is the recent bike that I got. It, it is a Motor Star Cafe 400. It's a 400cc bike. Hindi ko lang sure ano exacto niya. Pero sa papel niya, it's 400cc. I believe it's 373 or 383. I'm not sure, pero ayan siya. So, medyo, customi medyo customized na yung bike na to. So, when I first got the bike, kung napunan niyo yung video natin ng Meet Tomas 400, so, by the way, the name of the bike is Tomas 400. So, what I did, nung pagkakuha ko kasi, nakarap yung tank niya, naka-sticker, then initim yung ibang mga panels, naka-matlock na sticker. So, I built it off, tinanggal natin, nilinis natin yung tank, and luckily, mas makinis pa yung pintura niya. Ayan, no? So, pagkatanggal, winashing ko lang, then I applied wax. Okay? So, upgrades na ginawa natin with the bike. Um, pininturahan natin yung mga black panels niya. Ayan. So, front fender, rear fender, side panel. Then, we replaced the seat covers. Pinakapalan pa natin dahil nabababaan ako sa kanya. So, pinakapalan ko para para na siyang sofa. Tabata pa. So, this is a skin-toned uh, seat. So, siguro eventually papalitan ko rin pagka nagsawa. But for now, ganyan na muna setup niya. Okay? And uh, the same time, yung frame nito, guys, originally, is hanggang dito. So, kinat na. Ba't yung seat stocks pa, uh, stock pa din? Hindi wala tayong ginawa. Hindi natin binawasan. Hanggang, itong U-bend lang niya is hanggang dito. So, what we did ni Eman, kinat namin hanggang dito. Then, pinilitan namin na mas matapang yung fender. Dahil yung stock niya napaka ni Peace Promise. Then, uh, yung fender, kinat din natin. So, para may adjust din natin ng ganyan. Kasi, hey, hanggang dito yung fender niya ng haba. So, nagmumuha siyang cruiser type. So, ang target natin dito is uh, brat or backer, scrambler, whatever you wanna call it. Hindi ko lang sure kung anong genre or anong kategory ng custom bike papasok to. So, Nung nakuha ko rin yung bike, na kaya lady strip siya. So, what we did, we replaced it with a new, brand new tail light. So, it's a Rusi Classic 250 tail light. So, I got it from Rusi Kubao for, for only 650 pesos. So, this is an LED tail light na mamaya papakita ko sa inyo. So, hindi lang nakasaksak yung susi dito. Okay? So, ito. Since inalis na natin yung LED strip, pinalitan na rin natin ng ano, Pinalitan na rin natin ng, uh, what do you call this, uh, for the meantime, ito muna pansamantala. Pero I'm still looking for a stock Rusi Classic 250 signal lights. Okay, so shocks naman, stock shocks pa din. Tinanggal ko lang yung sticker niya kasi nakaitim to nun. So, para sa akin ha. Para lang sa akin mga kapotpot, I prefer yung original finish niya, yung gold. Para, I don't know if magko-complement sa kulay ng bike. Pero that's just the way it is. Okay? And also, Sa pipe niya, nung nakuha ko yung bike, according to the previous owner, originally talagang 2-1 yung pipe niya. Yung ibang version kasi ng Cafe 400, dual pipe, ito single pipe lang. So, dalawa yung elbow niya, pero may conjunction dito na nagiging isa. Ganyan. Now, yung pipe niya noon, uh, hindi ko trip. Kasi ang dami yung PUP, or hindi siya, I don't know, hindi ko lang gusto yung alignment. So, I had it replaced. So, pinalitan natin, kinapitan natin ng BR bullet pipe. Pero, papalitan ko rin to kasi according to some riders, masyado raw mali itong BR bullet pipe for the Cafe 400. So, papalitan din natin yan. So, after the quarantine, pwede na lumabas. Yan, kapit na natin yan. For the wheels, uh, for the tires and rims niya, I'm using a SPD rim. Uh, 18 Sarap. Specs niya is uh, 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 2.15 
by 18 and I'm using Shinko 805 tires. It's a, the size of the tires is uh, 120 by 90 by 18. For the rear naman, SVD rims then ito, 4.25 by 17. Sukat ng tires is 150, uh, 70, 17. Okay? So, yun yung setup natin sa uh, tires and rims natin. Um, what else pang upgrade dito? Trend. Uh, handlebar has been replaced, so it's a fat bar already. Stock cables pa rin ang ginamit, hindi naman kailangan magpalit. And uh, one thing I've noticed is yun nga, sa mga forums na nababasa ko, putulin yung clutch cable. That's why lagi ako may spare na clutch cable. So, motor star na Cafe 400 din yung gamit natin clutch cable dito. Okay, then ito, pansamantala, habang wala pa yung side mirror, side mirror na Rusi Rango, pang keyway muna yung ginabit ko. Kasi hindi ko trip yung bar and side mirror. Mukha lang Mickey Mouse pero okay lang yan. At least kitang kita ko yung likod ko. And kinabitan ko rin ng mobile phone holder para at least minsan ang hassle kasi since maraming customers, maraming clients at least pag stoplight aware ako. Ang hirap kasi nung napipressure ako pag may tumatawag at nasa bulsa ko yung phone eh. So I have to install one. Ayan. Gauge. Stock pa din. Uh, um, minor accent lang ito nilagyan din natin ng skid plate pero skid plate itong bike na ito ayan Ooh. sa headlight naman uh, originally nakamat uh, chrome yung headlight niya pero yung dating may hari linat black lahat medyo nawala ng contrast kasi para sa akin so what I did uh, yung rim ng headlight niya ito ginawa kong gloss black ang ginamit ko dito samurai paint so yan, itsura nyo yan. Then I'm using an LED bulb. So yung mga previous videos ko with Tomas, nakita nyo naman yung lakas ng ilaw na to. Pang kotse yung kinabit natin. So, yan. Okay, so moving on to the next bike. We have here si Basha 250. Ayan. So, take a look at Basha 250. Uh, to those who, who have been watching my videos for quite some time, uh, if marirecall nyo, uh, this is my first bike. This is my, ito yung unang bike na nagkaroon tayo na, what do you call this, na brand new. You know, I got this from Rusi Junction. So, the brand new price for this one is 80000 and it's negotiable for cash, I believe, hanggang seventy five. So, kayo na lang bahala makipagtawaran doon. And if you're gonna get this for installment, the down payment is 10000 then two eight fifty five a month niya within three years. Okay? So this is a 250cc bike, uh, Lonsin, uh, it's an old Honda engine, yung technology niya, carbureted pa rin. Okay, so upgrades na ginawa natin, first, yan, nagpalit tayo ng handlebar, so fat bar na rin to. I got the handlebar from Mr. Henry Ang, so search nyo na lang sa Facebook si Henry Ang. Uh, makikita niya yung mga several accessories niya for the Rusi Classic 250 so together nakapackage na yun kasama na itong brake hose niya kasi kailangan mong palitan to and yung clutch cable and throttle cable dahil yung stock bitin so side mirror naman guys pinalitan ko ng pang Rusi Rango so you can see ang laki niya so point of reference lighter Ayan, mas malaki siya sa lighter <laughs> pero ang ganda kasi kitang kita mo siya alright so, may, meron din siyang cellphone holder. Sabi ko nga, very important sa akin yung mga kliyente natin, yung mga customers natin. So, dito siya. Right. Um, I, first day pa lang, I remove the decals, tinungkap ko kagad, then nilinis ko kagad, then ito ngayon, meron na siyang decals na ganyan. So, this is a matte gray uh, unit, 2018. I got this ng 2018. It's been with me for more than a year. One year and three months, four months, I guess. And the mileage for this bike is only 1,800. So, accessorize ko by the decal. So, matte, matte gray, matte black na sticker. Then ito, ginawa ko na sariling logo. Instead of using different logos or mga Royal Enfield, Triumph logos, R.G. David's logo. So, I I made one ng sarili ko. So, Lex, uh, I call this bike the Lex model. So, wala lang. By Red Motors. Boo. Okay. So, Napalitan na rin yung shocks niya kasi yung stock niya, if we're gonna look at, if we're gonna take a look at the side profile, 
Ayan. May mababa siya pag nakasakay. Nagmumukha na naman. Mag, nagmumukha din. Mag, nagmumukha din bobber. So, I replace it with the ZZ shocks. Available din to kay Henry Ang. So, PMU lang siya. So, nakalift na yan na uh, 340mm or 350mm. So, adjustable din yung dumping niya. So, yung mga gusto magpalit. Then, ito. Yung frame niya, guys. Naka-U-bend na tayo. Tinanggalan natin yung cowling. And this customization is done by um, Jake Guerrero from Malabon. So, palit lang na U-bend. Stock seats pa rin ang ginamit namin. Minodify lang ng konti yung mga tenga sa ilalim ng upuan. And then, ito, iniksyan yung fender. I'm still using the stock daylight dahil I prefer using the stock one and stock signal light. So, yan. Sa seats naman, pinabalutan ko rin ng bago. I believe si Jay Guerrero in offer na rin services. I mean, si Henry ang and Jay Guerrero in offer rin yung services. PM nyo lang sila. Alright, so, pinakapalan ko. Yung stock kasi maliit din, mababa. So, ayoko nung mababang bike kasi. I'm only 5'7", pero I prefer uh, driving taller bikes. Wala lang. So, sa pipe naman, I got this from Brian Bruto. So, ito yung pipe na ginamit ko nandito. So, may silencer to para hindi masyado maingay. Ayan. Ilang beses na ako natatalas ka ng silencer. That's why pinawelding ko na. Para ganyan na. Ayoko naman na masyado maingay na bike. I also got the skid plate from Mr. Jake Guerrero of Malabon. Ayan siya. So, ito yung isa sa mga upgrade na ginawa ko noon nung dinala ko sa kanya. Tires! Okay, tires lang pinalitan ko. I'm still using the stock frame. So, yung size nung uh, tires ko. And by the way, this is a Shinko 705 naman. Kung mapapansin nyo yung isa, si Tomas. Ayun, yun nandun. 805 yan. Ako naman dito kay, kay Pasha 705. So, hindi ganun ka-aggressive yung tread pattern niya. Pero makapit siya. I like this one. I prefer using this one. So, baka palitan ko rin later on si Tomas. So, the size for my front is uh, 120. Uh, by 90 by 17 sa likod it's 140 by 80 by 17 so ayan ganyan sya tingnan ayan, no? medyo hindi ako makapwesta sa likod pero this is how the bike looks like okay so stock headlight pa rin stock cage wala pa rin tayong pinapalitin sa kanya and I prefer the slope the way it is ayan clean look lang ayan no? kita yung oil cooler nya and lagi malinis lang yung bike na to. Alright. So, Gray. Alex Gray. <laughs> And moving forward to another bike. So, this is a Kimco Like 125. Originally, it's a 125cc engine. Ayan. Hindi ko lang maipakita sa inyo. Pero, nirebatch ko siya. Ginawa kong like ER yung model. So, like what I've said, ayaw ko nang didikit ako ng ano nung sticker na pinagmumukha magmukhang Vespa, etc, etc. So, what I just did is uh, nag-improvise tayo ng bago. Like PR, kasi nakabore up na siya. So, 155cc na yung uh, scooter na to. Uh, GY6 engine. Ayan. So, by Kimco, of course. So, dito, wala pa tayo major modifications na ginagawa. Sabi ko nga, mas gusto ko stock. Alright? I prefer using stock bikes as much as possible or mukhang OEM option accessory yung mga kinakabit ko. Okay? So, muffler still stock. Walang kalkal, walang retubo na nagawa dahil yung mga previous keep ko like ko, pinakalkal ko, pinaretubo ko and I'm not happy. Masaya na ako nito. Parang simple mo lang sir. And I installed a uh, 47 liter sec na top box. So, mukha siyang uh, alloy because of the rib design pero I prefer this one kasi medyo bilugan for me kasi mas proportion siya sa shape na yun yung side profile yan. kung mapapansin nyo gray din siya by the way the name of the bike is Bella Bella keep you like okay so nothing fancy meron lang tayong OEM option na eyelid nito may mga copy na rin na nabibili nito online so what else yeah just like it clean and simple ito, pinapalitan ko rin yung upuan kila RS Moto. Available to kila RS Moto kila Boss Richard. Kasi originally, yung stock balot niya ma madula. So, ayan. Pinapalitan ko yan ng ganyan. Before, yung gray kong like na naibenta ko kila Jorge. Uh, red yung seat cover ko ngayon. It's black na. Wala lang. Simplicity. And, there you go. <laughs> gray din siya. And as you can see sa background, yung wheels natin, gray din. So, quick segue lang of this uh, 
uh, vehicle. It's a 2015 Montero, uh, Mitsubishi Montero, 4056, 4056, um, manual transmission, accessories by Red Auto Parts, yours truly, and yung isa ko negosyo, Red Auto Parts, so installed chin, um, carbon wing, etc., uh, etc., et rear diffuser, and naka 2-inch lift siya. Ayan. Pati kotse ni-review, ano? Ayan, naka 2-inch lift siya with uh, Cooper tires. So, 285, 70, 17 with Rota Trail R. It's a 17 by 9 negative 10 offset. Kaya nakalabas siya ng ganyan. Ayan. Boom. Wala lang. Uh, before bikes talaga, guys. Before the bikes. I'm into cars, so I, I restore Corollas, different types of Corollas, if, if, different generation, pero because of the traffic, wala. Display na lang tong kotse, yung mga Corolla, binenta na natin, palit tayo ng mga two wheels. Okay? So, yun lang naman yung may share ko with my garage, uh, what, what I keep, ano yung bike rotation ko ngayon. Itong scooter natin, si Bella, I use this for my kalakal, quickie wiki getter ko to pagka iwas traffic or ano man ito ang gamit natin kasi scooter walang cambio may gulay board or piezo board na ilalagay ko dyan mga box then dito rin dami ko natatali etc etc now itong si Basha naman nagagamit ko to for mga meetups mga bike nights mga tambay or mga rides before si Benny yung gamit ko for rides pero ito na yung magiging ano ko uh, rotation kapalit ni Benny. Actually, hindi ito yung magiging kapalit ni Benny. Because I wanna keep this the way it is clean and uh, seryo. Ang naging kapalit ni Benny recently, itong si Tomas. So, ito yung lagi kong gamit. Ito yung lagi kong dinudumihan. Ito yung pinag-experimentuhan ko. Ito yung winawalwal ko. Average consumption of this bike is right now 27 to 30 kilometers per liter. As for uh, Basha, 30 to 35, and this one, 30 to 35 then. Kasi naka-bore up na to. Pero, pero it's all good. It's way cheaper than using a car. Okay? So, yun lang naman. And I do hope medyo may mga na-share ako sa inyo about my, my uh, daily workhorse sa aking grahe dito. And uh, if you have any further questions pa with the bikes, just let me know. Comment lang kayo down below or sa Facebook fan page natin. Pilitin natin masagot yan as much as possible. Alright? So, so, ito lang. Confused ba ako ito? Mas kung gagawin ko rin siyang gray with orange accent. Kasi sa register niya, orange black. So, siya lang yung naiiba sa mga collection natin. Alright. So, future um, upgrade. Next bike na target natin. I like the I'm, look, I'm eyeing for the Kawasaki ER6N. So, it's a naked bike na eventually kukosumize din natin. And syempre, yung bike pa rin natin na dream bike. Sa ngayon, it's the Royal Enfield Interceptor 650. So, kung rin mag-800cc, mag-1000cc. Pero eventually, makukuha din natin yan. Right? So, I guess I'll be ending the vlog from here. Once again, this is your boy, Mr. Kalakan. Now, signing off. Ciao. Whee! Good night, everyone. Ride safe palagi. God bless. Peace. Babush.